You know, I'm not gonna lie. Playing medic is very rewarding. And as someone who considers himself to be a pretty average TF2 player, Medic is always a nice fallback to play as when I've truly met my match with the other team, or if my team simply needs the ever so adored Sadistic Medicine Man. Nevertheless, over the years of playing Medic, I've picked up on some tips while playing Medic that I thought I'd share. Quick disclaimer though, these tips are based on my experience while playing Medic that have worked for me so your mileage may vary if you adapt any of these tips into your medic playstyle. So with that said, let's get right into it. One minor thing to do that goes a long way when playing medic is to encourage your fellow teammates. Set up a bind on your keyboard or mouse that you can easily activate at any point in the game that will trigger either the good work, good shooting, or positive voice commands. The thanks voice command also works, but I favor the previously stated voice commands a bit due to them being a bit more variant. Use these voice commands whenever the patient you're healing or the team as a whole accomplishes something. Anything really. This is a really easy way to encourage your teammates and be sort of the cheerleader of your team. Just be careful not to use the binds after a teammate by you dies, because then you just look like a jerk. This may be a minor thing to do while playing medic, but you'd be surprised how many times you get a thanks or an enthusiastic nod back. As a medic, communication is key, and if you don't have a microphone to communicate with your team, or you don't have time to type up a 1000 word message in team chat in the heat of battle, use voice commands. While voice commands are nowhere near as good as direct communication, they tell your team exactly what they need to know quickly. Because of this, it's a good idea to memorize how to input certain voice commands. If communication is your number one priority, you should really consider taking the time to memorize all the voice commands under the X key. These include voice commands for telling your team when there's a sentry ahead, whether there's a spy around, and most important yet the least used, to tell your medic to activate their uber charge. Seriously, in all my time of playing TF2, I've seen this voice command used only twice. TWICE! Regardless, as a medic, try to memorize the input of the voice commands you use a lot. Trust me, it saves a ton of time compared to directing your attention to the left of your screen, going down the list of voice commands, realizing that you hit the wrong key, trying to reach the zero key to cancel out the menu, your pocket dying on you, and then you dying to a random crit right as you then hit your voice command. The round has just started. There's 30 or so seconds left on the startup time, and you have an uber ready. What do you do? Now depending on the map, whether you're on offense or defense, and what medigun you're using, the safest thing you can do is simply ask your team either through voice chat or team chat who wants to take advantage of your uber. You could simply ask, hey who should I uber, and you should get a response like 95% of the time. Otherwise, if no one responds, or you're just too shy to ask, save your uber until you think it's right to pop it, even if it means you're just saving your own life. Which conveniently segues into my fourth tip. If you've popped an uber in an attempt to retreat to safety, take a wounded teammate with you if possible. This is kinda tricky to do, but if there's one teammate in your medigun's range, leash that puppy, pop that son of a gun, and get the hell out of there with your teammate. I guarantee you they will be extremely grateful and you can almost always expect a Z2 from the teammate you just saved. Just remember, if the teammate is too out of the way to be saved, don't be afraid to k-thanks by out of their solo style. As a medic, your life is on a pedestal higher than any of the other classes. Just remember that, and you'll be set. Equip the Crusader's Crossbow. Do it. Do it now! In all seriousness, if you want to maximize the amount of healing you do, equip this blessing from Gaben himself. Yes, you're pretty much left without a primary weapon if you can't aim, but with some rigorous practice on TR walkway, you can start hitting your shots most of the time than not, and even experience those brief feelings of heroism when you manage to hit that sweet sweet 150 HP crossbow from across the map to your teammate that was at 2 HP. Aside from that, with the Crusader's crossbow, you honestly can't lose with it. Hit a teammate, they get healed. Hit an enemy, it does damage. Miss altogether, just fire another bolt. Miss a teammate directly in front of you, well... You suck! 
Now, I'm not saying to always keep this equipped, but if you're like 96.7% of medics out there that have their number one priority be healing you, you should really consider this always equipped. Alright, those are all the tips I have for this video. Hopefully these tips will help you out when playing as medic. And if not, well, that's why I plugged that disclaimer in the beginning of the video. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll hopefully see you later. Thanks for watching.